Of course, a crime reporter has to talk to his police contacts, but sometimes you need to go in search of the other side, the villains. The Great Train Robbery was a classic cops and robbers caper that has thrown up a host of stories and characters. I've known Bruce Reynolds, the robbery mastermind, for many years, since his last spell in jail. He spent 20 years in prison. He learned how to survive it. I exhaled into the night air. I knew I wouldn't have time to finish it, but a Monte Cristo number two is a fine companion to have whilst awaiting your destiny. I knew this would be my greatest moment, a night to remember. When you went inside after the great train robbery, you must have been a hero to some of those fellow prisoners, but resented by others? Because of your own reputation, you know, uh, you have to maintain a front. You walk along the landing with your head held high and then the door slams shut and you collapse onto your bed and the tears start welling up and you think of a, your little boy and uh, how you miss him and what's going to happen because it, it's inevitable that marriages are going to break down under that sort of strain. I guess prisoners now have a lot more in terms of distractions to, to keep them occupied than you had in your day. Personally, I couldn't handle having telephone calls. I mean, what, you're just doing starting, what, a 10-year sentence or something, and you've got to phone your wife up every day or something like that. And you can do the thing, what are you doing? Where are you going? All of that, no, no, I couldn't have that whatsoever. How do prisoners get through very long sentences? You sort out really, you know, the myth from the man. And uh, Ian Barry, who was nicked with uh, Ronnie Cray over Cornell, um, someone said to him he was doing a life with him in 25 years. And he said, Ian, how do you do it? He said, that's easy, he said. Just do it five years at a time. <laughs> it's crazy. Another famous robber once threatened to kill me. I think he meant it, and I was worried for a while. Then he was shot dead by Italian police. R.I.P. Valerio Vice. <laughs> <laughs> 